Our trip back in time looking at the best linebackers in Montana's history has already landed us at Great Falls CMR once, and spoiler alert, there's still an honorable mention to follow. But the number two guy on our MT Top 40 was perhaps one of the most productive under former coach Jack Johnson, two-way star in high school who went on to become an all-conference Montana State Bobcat and one of the most popular American gladiators of all time. Number two is Jim Laser Califat. Jim Califat found time on each side of the football at Great Falls CMR, an all-state caliber player at both fullback and linebacker, and actually led the Rustlers to state runner-up honors twice. Jimmy Califat, yeah, he's, uh, he's a great kid. He's one of my favorites, and uh, he played running back for us. He was our, our tailback, and then he gets to Bozeman, and he was a fullback there in the I formation, and then they had two fullbacks, so they moved Jimmy to linebacker. He became an All-American linebacker there, just... Just a great football player. Could run and strong and tough, smart, loved to play football, loved the game. His strength was just his nose, nose for the football and, and getting there and getting off blocks. He was, he was so strong. And, uh, you know, you have to, you're taking on offensive linemen, guys that are, you know, 280, 300 pounds. And, and uh, you can't, you've got to get off them as quick as you can. And uh, he wasn't huge in stature in terms of height and so forth, but uh, he had great leverage and was able to, to handle and shed blocks and, and get to the football. Montana State came calling for his offensive potential, but the Bobcats moved him to linebacker, where he enjoyed a record-setting career. He owns the top two single-season tackle marks, 202 in 1982 and 178 in 1983, garnering all Big Sky Conference recognition each season. His 30 tackles against Nevada in 1983 also rank first in MSU's single-game records, but he also boasts three more games with 29, 28, and 26 tackles. His 380 career stops rank fifth in program history. I think he was uh, just do what, whatever the team needed him to do and help them best. And he, that was the attitude he had. He just wanted to play. He didn't really care where it was, I don't think. Jim Califat was a guy that, that uh, had a defensive mentality. Uh, you talk about a tough kid and... He was a smart kid, too, on defense. Interesting enough, he came uh, and played the first couple of years as, as a running back for Montana State. And then we, we had some voids on the defensive side and moved to, moved to defense and never looked back. But yeah, he was, he was as tough as they come. And uh, like I said earlier, smart and uh, had a great nose for the football. And, and uh, from my standpoint, I wouldn't want to be tackled by him. I know that. But, yeah, he made a ton of tackles and uh, just all over the field. Great player. After finishing his MSU career, which ended the season before the Bobcats' 1984 national title, Califat was drafted by the USFL and chased pro football opportunities there, the CFL, and the NFL. He suffered a career-ending injury with the Los Angeles Rams in 1987. One injury and one name change later, Jim Starr was joining the TV series American Gladiators, where he held the distinction of longest-serving male gladiator, competing in all seven seasons, as well as the live tour. Oh, no. I don't know how he got that. He must have knew somebody out there in California. He went on and had a phenomenal career in American Gladiators, and he's still a star in that deal. He's still a, one of the icons uh, from way back when, but I used to watch that all the time, and and Jim was here oh, a couple of years ago. They felt, did a, some sort of special or ESPN thing. And uh, I know they filmed that here on campus. And I think that's the last time I saw it, uh, Jim when he was here. It drew you right in. And, you, and you know, they have those rivals, you know, within them, their, you know, the, the organization and the good guys, bad guys stuff. And uh, I just remembered he demonstrated a tremendous amount of strength. And those, some of those skills they had to do and, and uh, the battles that they were in. But, yeah, it was a lot of fun to watch. There you go. Laser Jim Califat. Jim Starr, the American Gladiators fame, the number two linebacker on our MT Top 40. Look at some of those guys. That means only one remains. Tune in on Friday to meet number one. And, of course, your honorable mentions. Richie Melby, MTN Sports.